Hello everybody, my name is Mayber4k, and this is Overwatch. But before we get into the Overwatch, I didn't want to pull this up full screen, because it's pretty fucking bright, and that's a full wide screen. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna run through this Beep Felix's, uh, Overwatch bot on GitHub that I mentioned in my, my last video, right? Um, so this, basically what this is when I look through everything, this is basically just a bot that takes tally of how many wall bangs you kill, uh, you, how many wall bangs you get, you know what I mean? Um, how many bangs through smoke, how many bangs through when you're fully flashed, a certain percentage of flashed, anything over half flashed according to this, um, it's gonna count it as an infraction. And you get a certain amount of infractions before the bot deems it that you are wall hacking, you are anti-aiming, you are whatever, and then it kill it, it kills your yeah it it bans you. That's what I'm saying. It, it puts down the boot and it, it gives you an Overwatch ban. So we're gonna scroll up here. So aimbot log the past amount of ticks, whatever the ticks have been. When the suspect gets a kill, check all angles when the past uh, X ticks. The number if the difference is above the threshold and an infraction. So if you run in and you're running through and you're getting headshots on everybody, it's gonna check on what you didn't look at or what you didn't do, and it's gonna if it's over a certain amount, it's gonna add an infraction to you. Uh, AFK every time the round starts, log the current position of the player on every tick at the end of the round compare all the positions if the player does not leave a specific radius within the entire round it adds an infraction now i don't like that because I, there's been multiple occasions where i have had to go do something or i've had to you know go answer the door or get food or whatever and i'm gone for a few rounds and i feel like if other people i feel like that's not just a me thing you know what i mean i feel like if other people have this problem and there's stuff going on while they're playing they can't just you know, be there all times, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's kind of a little wonky, but whatever, we'll keep going. So last, when it comes to wall hack, which I'm still a little bit confused on, I don't know if it's the wording of this, uh, of the way uh, Felix put this, but on every kill, just check if the event was has included the penetrated parameter, and if it's one or higher, meaning the last bullet was a ball wall bang, and then that's it. And then it ends and says it will not work when the player only damages through a wall instead of killing. It's just, I don't think it would be that productive. You know what I mean? Um, and then up top here, it's going to show, uh, where is it? Yeah, it showed all of their readmes and stuff like that. I mean, I think it's clever. I definitely think it's clever. And I think it's pretty cool whoever made this. But is it really viable in the grand scheme of things? I want to say no. Um, it's just, there's too much unpredictable shit. AFKing, I don't like either, because, listen, if you got, if you got something going on and you're gone for two or three rounds, not your problem. You gotta take a shit, or you gotta do something, not your problem. But, aimbot, I mean, I guess I like the aimbot, because if you're just running in, getting all these kills, with just headshot, 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 which most people do, um, without checking corners and checking angles, I like that kind of, to a point. It's not set in stone, you know what I'm saying? But, that's all I'm gonna talk about when it comes to this. Um, I'm gonna leave this link right here for uh, the Overwatch bot in the description of the video if you guys wanna take a look. Uh, go ahead, be my guest. But you know, hey, anyway, let's go into the game. Now that that's taken care of and that's out of the way, let's get into some Overwatch, shall we? I know my green screen's a little bit funky right now. But yeah, whatever. I just got off of work. I figured I'd let you guys know what I found in that uh, little, little GitHub post there. I think it's okay and I think it's on the right track to doing some cool shit but right now i feel like that's like the lazy man's overwatch you know yo so i was looking through a lot of my old videos today and uh like i'm talking old videos like old videos and some of them are really fucking cringy but whatever i this is obvious is he just gonna anti-aim and rage the entire time no he's gonna stand there waiting for someone to peek All right, that's all I need to see there. What a waste of my goddamn valuable time. Yep, see you later, homie. You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't opened cases in a bit. So we will, we'll do, we'll do that right now. Let's start with the CS20 case. I'm still looking for that FAMAS. I really want that FAMAS, but I'm not gonna buy the FAMAS just because it's too expensive. But I'm gonna get it right here. No, I'm not. No, what am I what am I talking about? No, I got the Scar 20. Shitty. Not really what I want. Oh, it's a Negev! Wow, even shittier. And I got a glove case. Please be something good. I haven't gotten anything good in in case openings in how many videos now? How many months? 
three or four months. And it continues to fuck me. Hey, I'm telling you guys, I've just been on a bad streak. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like something I'm doing that's causing me to, to, to not get anything in these cases. I know the, the odds of you getting something in the first place are extremely low. Maybe I wasted all of my luck already. I'm not going to get anything else ever again. That's it. They've already, they've already looked at my IP, said, yep, this kid's never going to get anything good. Let's just put him in the veto pile. Dust 2 competitive. Okay, second case of the day. Let's see if this one will be better than the first one. Oh, I didn't see it. It was a headshot through a wall. That GitHub bot would have definitely given him an infraction. So I guess we're starting it off. Round number two. The suspect is two kills, zero assist, one death, 2.0 KD, 120 ADR, and 100% headshot. Uh, he's got a scout, no helmet, no armor, really ballsy peek through mid, but I guess the rest of his team kind of had scouts, him and, uh, him and Puffin. Uh, how is he looking compared to everybody else? Yeah, he's top of the scoreboard, but eh, nothing crazy. Mask is going to take down the bot. Ha Mask and Hatchet are... <sighs> was that a nice shot or was that aim? Does he got fake lag on? No, but he does have aim. Because that's not where your crosshair was, buddy boy. I Maybe it was. Maybe that's where his crosshair was. I don't know. Don't say affirmative unless you're 100%. That peak outside of double doors on long, it looked okay. But it was just so fast. I, dude, this guy. Yeah, all right. He's got fake lag on, 100%. What's this asshole's ping? You can tell in demo when they have it based on the way they move. Not because it's all super choppy and whatnot. But it's, on, it's where he's getting shot at as he moves across. If it's skipping like that, and the person who's shooting at him is shooting behind him. Yeah! I, uh, it's one of two things. Uh, they're either really bad, or he's got fake lag on. Is it a cheat versus a hack versus hack now? Alright, the suspect is going to take down Mask with a headshot through double doors. So he has walls and aim 100%. And his team knows he's cheating, and they're not happy with it. Takes down Hatchet with a headshot with that scout. What would be great if they vote kicked him? He can't wait. He can't wait. He's just gonna take the shot while he's looking at him through the door. So, I... so what? It looks like fake lag. It looks like aim. It looks like walls. But once again, it's a cheater who's not doing anything fun. <coughs> you know what I mean? He's not like going crazy. Takes down Mask with a headshot. Whale is gonna back the fuck right up. Him and his deagle. Well, that was a stupid way to end an Overwatch case. So we're gonna go evident, we're gonna go evident, we're gonna go evident, and we're gonna go insufficient. So, he has aim, he has walls, he has other external, which is gonna be the, uh, the fake lag or the fake ping or whatever the hell you wanna call it. And he's gonna have griefing as well, so submit that. Two, two cases, two. Two cases, two cheaters. Nice. Oh, the good thing is though, today is Friday. So, that means I get to sleep in tomorrow. I finally get a full night's rest. Oh shit, I gotta pause this. Welcome to Mirage Competitive, everybody. Round number 12, eight to three split in favor of the counter-terrorist. Suspect is 12 kills, 13 assists, six deaths, 2.0 KD, 143 ADR, 75% headshot, 13K. Has himself an AWP, USPS, no utility. Very odd. No utility, but he does have helmet and armor. Um, double up on the CT, or double up on CT, triple up on T. Wow, weird, that's a weird... I don't know. Maybe they just run constantly. Uh, suspect is leading the charge 12 and 6. Sparrow actually has more kills, but I'm guessing the MVPs are for the bomb defusals. That's uh, my guess. So that means he's usually the last left alive. So let's see what we got, shall we? All right, let's see where he's looking. Very odd angle. Don't know why he's doing that. He's got walls. Yes, he does. He's looking away. When in any competitive game do you just look away from everything? What the fuck? 
Beta takes down Goose as well, who took control of the bot. Beta takes down Sparrow. Beta's three. Three for three. Plus Beck takes down Mask. And aim! And aim! Woo! He's typing in chat right now. They said, nice aim. And he's like, no. No, you just suck. You're just bad. I just practice a lot. I do a lot of aim maps. Down to 35 HP. Oh, look at that aim lock right through the smoke. That's a lock. Not an assist, that's a lock. Takes down Cat, takes down Toaster. God, this dude's got a tiny dick. Yep. And that's a jump script. That is a B-Hop script. Now, before you guys crucify me in comments saying, oh, it was only a few hops, Mav. Mav, it was only a few hops. I've seen YouTubers do that, yes. But he was hopping frame perfectly without any speed, straight up and down. <laughs> That's him holding the space bar. <laughs> and the script working. No, I was wrong? Takes down mask, through the wall, through the head. Now he's gonna look back through the wall, wait for Violet to come through, and he's gonna shoot him in the head. Oh, he wants to kill really bad, he's moving into it. He knows. He knows. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. I'm gonna do evident. I'm gonna do evident. And I mean, can I hit him for scripts because of that? Yes, I can. But it wasn't beyond reasonable doubt, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna leave that as insufficient anyway. It doesn't matter. He's still banned. But was he scripting with B-Hop? More likely than not, okay? Um, griefing insufficient. So, hey, three cases, three more cheaters taken down. Now, on regards of that, that, uh, GitHub post that was made, if you guys want, you can download it. Do I recommend it? Not really, because I'm not sure exactly what it fully does or what it needs to run. So, if you want to take the time, link's going to be in the description, as long, as well as all my social media. So, I can, I mean, I don't use social media, I just want the clout. Discord link is also going to be in the description of the video as well. Come hang out with me, let's go play some games. I'm down to play at any time, as long as I'm home. Um, yeah, so, guys, I hope you have a good weekend. I'll see you, hopefully, on Sunday. And if not Sunday, I'll see you guys Monday. Adios, everybody.